Hi and welcome back. Today I have another spread in my art journal. It's just the main thing I'm doing at the moment, creating little collages in my mini journal because I enjoy it so much. Um, I have a tutorial for this little book already on my channel and it's linked in the video description. And there are already a bunch of videos where I create pages in this little book. I'm starting with collage and I'm adhering the papers with a glue stick. The papers I'm using are jelly prints mainly. Um, they are on different kinds of papers. This for example is a rice paper which is very thin and perfect for collage. But I also have some others like this. This is a usual printer paper. It has around 120 GSM and I, and I prefer the thinner papers for collage. You will also find a bunch of jelly printing videos or collage fodder videos on my channel. I will link up a playlist at the end of this video. Here I'm having uh, some very thin paper. Um, I will try to find it and link it up in the video description. It's also some kind of rice paper. I would say it's super thin. It looks quite vintagey because of that brown color and I have stamped it with acrylic paint and obviously a stamp and that works so nice and I really enjoy using these kind of papers because of the transparency um, and the layering you get with them. I also have stamped this paper with different colors. I have some in black and white and neon other neon colors and that looks really lovely the paper i'm having here is also some kind of a chinese writing paper um, it's also quite vintagey because of that color and also very transparent and it lets the layer that is underneath shine through a little which i really like I'm also going to use some pieces of my handmade washi tape. I think I used it in my last video as well. It's a gum paper tape which um, will stick to your pages where, um, as soon as you wet the backside. Um, I have a video tutorial when, where I made these washi tapes and I will link it up also in the video description. Some quick info about our shop. We are closing for the holidays. That means you can come in and order something, um, but we will not ship it before the next year. So we, we're, we will ship all the orders that are coming in until next week, Tuesday. And from then on, all the orders will start shipping after the new year so I think around the 3rd um, of January we will start shipping again. I just can recommend um, having a look at our newsletter over in the shop. We often send out some extra discount codes there so you might want to check that out. We also send out a newsletter every Saturday with the newest blog post of our design team. Uh, we have a lot of creative stamping and mixed media inspirations on our blog every week. We post almost every day a new project, so you might want to check that out.
this is enough for collage I would say everything is almost completely covered and now I'm going to make a thin layer of white uh, not white clear gesso on top of that I'm using the clear gesso from PBU it has a nice kind of gritty finish which means that you have some um, texture to to use all kinds of mediums on top you can go on top with color pencils and they won't slip away you can go on top with watercolors um, I really love this texture of that gesso for my art journal I'm also adding in some white areas of gesso just to bring in some more contrast and to balance out the the many colors that are on the on the page and I'm just applying it with my fingers I'm also adding some white splatters with acrylic ink and then I'm going to let everything dry completely before I come back and add more color to the page. Now when the pages are dry I come in, in with some neon acrylic ink and I'm just painting in some marks um, to create interest and some really bright spots of color. I really love the neon um, combined, the neon pink combined with say, the yellow and some darks. And I also love it with that vintagey brown color of the collage papers. And as I said, I love the yellow together with the pink, but I don't have a yellow acrylic ink. So I'm using just some fluid acrylics and I'm going to mix it with water and then also make some marks with this color. I also decided to use that fine nib bottle from the acrylic paint which is from Dale Rowney and I make some dots onto the page. My page is almost dry and I'm going to do some stamping on it. And therefore I'm using a piece of foam and lay it underneath my pages because the book is so bulky and it's almost impossible to get um, a good stamp impression. So I always lay something underneath my pages and that usually works quite good. If you want to be sure to get a super crisp and perfect stamp impression, I would recommend stamping your image to an to a piece of tissue and then adhere it to your page. The stamp I've used here is from our Pencil Marks number one stamp set. I'm going to add a little more stamping with a number stamp from our mix it up number one 
just to bring in some different textures against the bold and bright colors, some thin, some thin and tiny marks that are, um, that you almost can't make directly with a pencil on the page, maybe with a thin fine liner that would also work. Um, but that, that difference of textures, I think, makes the page more interesting. That's also what I love about collage. You can bring in so many different kinds of textures. Um, and I really like the combination of it. I cannot explain what's the reason for that, but it just suits my eyes. I'm also adding some black ink splatters because of the dark black areas I have. I think um, I need a little bit more black around the whole spread to bring everything together, but I don't add many, just a little bit. I'm also adhering a sentiment to my page with is built with the words from our Mix a Sentiment stamp set. And the words are embossed in white to black cardstock. I really like that negative um, writing to add my sentiments because I feel it just pops up more from the page compared to a usual black and white, well, black font on white paper. I also picked another sentiment from our mixed sentiments and I'm going to adhere it to the left side of the spread, but just at a different angle. I feel that is quite interesting and makes the book a little bit more interactive. I'm finishing up my spread by adding some mark makings with the Neo colors. I really enjoy this step of the whole process because it's so much fun to add some spots of color here and there. I'm finishing up the spread now and I will show you some photos at the end and you will also find some photos over on my blog um, where you can have a look closer at the image. I hope you enjoyed this little video today and I wish you a wonderful and creative weekend. Bye!